What's up you guys, it's Josephine. I'm back today with another video and this one is gonna be so weird. Today I'm going to be reacting to my very first YouTube video ever on September 7th. It's gonna be five years ago. Pretty freaking gross and cringy. The last time I actually like watched this video was literally months ago and so I'm really about to surprise myself. Okay, so without further ado, <laughs> let's do this. Oh, one of those classic iMovie titles. Oh, hair flip. I have to start over again. Hi guys, it's Joe, and I know a lot of you guys are going back to school, so I thought I would do a video about different type of kids at school. Different types of kids at school, okay. Um, first of all, I went to a charter school, so there wasn't really a lot of different types of kids there. Because there are actually a lot of different types of, like... Complete bullshit. There's not a lot of different types of kids at school. Idiots and like nerds. Idiots. What a great way to start off the video, Josephine. You're so polite. Nerds oh, and then I inserted one of those iMovie titles, the little classic Joe. <clears throat> the first type of kid at school that I always know there is always one of at the school. It doesn't matter if it's in your class, a different class, a different grade even. There's always one of these, at least at your school. What? Uh, the, the weirdest part about that whole like face itch thing is that I still itch my face like that. Not all the time though. I don't only itch my face like that. School. And this is the person that is like grandma's house. This is the person that is literally always talking about their okay. grandma's house. Grandma's house. Okay. So this was actually me um, subbing somebody in one of my classes. She would always talk about her uncle and how like cool he was and shit like that. And like literally everything else about this type of kid, type of kid at school is made up. Like everything else is bullshit. Like grandma's house and always talking about their family. Oh, they're always talking about their family. What a negative trait to have. And always talking about all these different things. But literally, if you go anywhere like 10 feet with the... Like 10 feet. 10 feet. The word I was thinking of was radius, but I couldn't remember it. Within so, 10 their, feet. Their area. Apparently works just as you well. You smell their grandma's house. You smell their grandma's house. You really don't though. Like there's some people that just kind of smell weird and like if people smell like mildew, like maybe that's just like my stereotypical thinking. I don't know. They they are the legacy of grandma's house. Because the legacy. They, they're always the going legacy they're always of talking about their family. They're always smelling like their grandma's house. Oh, a fucking character. Okay, okay, pause, okay. Bananas, okay, don't even, whew, bananas, okay. In sixth grade, I think, maybe it was seventh grade, I had an obsession with bananas. Like, there was like an anime character and they loved bananas and so I wanted to be just like them. And I remember one day I ate 11 bananas in one day. Like we had two bundles of bananas in my house, one of six and one of five. Yes, I remember this. This was a crazy fucking day. And I ate all of them. Literally the compost would not close because there were so many damn banana peels. My friends love me. Hello? Um, well, I'm just recording a video right now. So what's good? Okay, well it's Super Bowl Sunday, so like, uh, you guys celebrating? Yeah, no. They were gonna go to my uncle's house, but I guess not. Okay. Are you gonna come over? Uh, yeah, probably. I All right, bye. Bye. Proof that I have friends. Okay, let's continue. The second type of kid at school. The second type of kid at school is called the early bird. Apparently the second type of kid at school is the early bird. Now this is the one, as a lot of you could probably tell, that wakes up really early. But no, they don't just wake up early. They are the wake up call to everybody else. They're the wake up call to everybody else. The way I'm like messing with my hand, I look like Donald Trump. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people wake up really early. I mean, it's school, but um, who would have thought that? They will either go out on all their texting things going, Hey, hey, are you up yet? Are you up yet? Wow, friends that make sure you're up on time for school. How fucking crazy is that? Are you on the max yet? Where where are you? Are you getting on the bus? Did I, did I miss it? No, no, I didn't miss it because I'm up like half an hour earlier than you, huh? Also, this wasn't even like a type of kid at my school. Like most of the kids that went to my school, they got rides from their parents. Like, I was one of the few kids that rode the bus every morning. And even at this age, I didn't even, like, ride the bus. But like, like, literally? No oh one my cares. God. Okay, I feel like that was the ugliest way to possibly say that no one cares. I can't remember if this is before or after I cut off all of my hair. I think it was after. But for the longest time, people couldn't tell if I was a boy or a girl. And like in this frame right here, this is one of those moments where like I looked at it and I was like, is that me or my brother? I thought I was being so clever and cinematic when I did that. 
No one cares, Josephine. Nobody cares. Thank you guys for watching. So if you like this video, how about you give it a big thumbs up? You guys, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. No, but like, I'm for real. If you did like the video, yeah, just, yeah. And also comment below. Also, you see the, you see the wristbands that I have on? So like the string ones, they're like friendship bracelets, but like I made them for myself. Like, that's so awkward to begin with. And then the little plastic ones I had on, whenever I went to like Great Wolf Lodge or something like that, I didn't take off the wristband until months later. If you know any other types of people at school. Oh yeah, comment comment down below if you know other types of kids at school because apparently there's only like two different types. So I mean, just let me know. Also don't forget to click that subscribe button because I do make videos on Fridays. It says that I made videos on Fridays? Literally I uploaded this and then I didn't upload again until like two months later. Whenever I get the chance to and I will always upload them on Fridays unless I make a short video telling you that I will not be uploading them on Fridays. Unless I make a short video telling you I will not be uploading on Fridays. Which I never did. Also don't forget to check out my social media links in the description bar and have a good day! The funniest part about this video is that I literally had to stack up telephone books on top of a stool to put my little point and shoot camera on top of it and have a good day. I literally, I actually did use that outro of putting my hand over the camera so many times. That's all I have for this video, you guys. If you guys did like this video, make sure you give a like down below. Maybe if I get to a certain amount of likes, I will upload me reacting to my second YouTube video ever, which is pretty much worse than the first one. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click the little subscribe button down below because I have a lot of cool projects going on. And I mean, like, I'm a really considerate person. I don't want you to miss out, you know? And um, for real, you just like comment down below if you know any other kids at school because apparently there's only two types of kids at school. All right, thank you for watching. Have a good day. I'm kidding. Okay, bye you guys. <laughs> my, youth, my youth is yours, tripping on skies, sipping waterfalls. My youth, my youth is yours, run away now and forever. My youth, my youth is yours, the truth so loud you can't ignore. My youth, my youth, my youth, my youth is yours.